All right, so today I am going to get back on a Mustang. I worked on it last weekend, going to work on it this weekend. Um, last weekend, I stripped off the door and cut some holes out in the bottom. And when I cut them out in the bottom, I discovered there's a whole bunch of rust on the inside. So um, I got a whole lot of feedback about how I should just uh, replace the skin on the door so that I can get to all the rust and take care of it. Which, which makes a lot of sense. So um, today I'm gonna get back to trying to fit the uh, rear quarter because I wanna get that fit in place before I remove and replace the skin on the door. So um, just to try and help get the, uh, the body lines to line up. So here we go. Yeah, so if you missed the last one, I stripped down the uh, whole door with my surface conditioning tool from uh, Harbor Freight, and I cut out the whole the holes, the rust holes on the bottom. But as you can see, they are just massively corroded. So um, I received a whole lot of feedback that I just need to take the whole door skin off, even though it looks pretty good, um, so I can get in behind there and treat all those spots so the rust doesn't come back. So. Makes a lot of sense. So today I am gonna work until I can uh, fit the quarter panel on here so that I can get the lines lined up um, on the door. So here we go. I think this is the hardest part for me is trying to figure out which piece of the puzzle goes next. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, that I'm going to try and figure out how to get the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the quarter panel hung today but in order to do that I need to uh, probably strip off to see where the join is for this because that looks pretty thin so I'm gonna strip all this off because I think the lead joints right in here somewhere you got the beautiful rust spots along behind the uh, drip rail and you got the crack here so I think um, I can get to on the inside here I think I can get to the spot welds there um, to get those drilled out and get them out of there and then along here I can strip it so I can see and then I think on the underneath here we can get to the spot welds um, but uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do today is use the uh, surface conditioning tool and strip this off to the best of my ability so that's where we're going Okay, so since I chewed this down, it exposed some more of uh, that Bondo and Rust hole. I mean, I knew it had a hole, but now I know it's got a much bigger hole. Um, I'm going to use a flat disc. I'm just taking a break, getting the crap off of me. And then I am going to use a flat disc on this. But um, I think... I can get to those weld, those pinch welds right there. So, um, might try to do that. And, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna expose as much of this as I can. And then, um, I'm gonna see if I can get it on the inside and drill out some of these spot welds on here. So, that's my next step. So there we go. All right, so I cut most of the lip off and now I'm just, uh, Splitting the seam or splitting the spot weld with my body chisel. Ouch. And then I'm going to go back and uh, once I get this piece off, this inner piece, you can see how rusty it is on, in between the two panels and then how rusty it is here. So it's probably a good thing that I'm taking it off. Um, then I'll work on all this, but I need to get this next piece off too. So I'm not going to record me slamming this with the chisel. I'll show you what it looks like when I get done getting it off of there. So, oh geez, it's dirty. All right, there you go. I uh, 
am splitting these uh, spot welds with my body chisel. Um, and I'm getting there, but you can see how rusty it is. It's sort of good that I'm just taking it all off and I'm gonna treat as much of it as I can with uh, some rust uh, neutralizer and then some good primer, unlike Ford who it appears did not put anything on it or very, very little. So that's where we're at. Well, I'm making slow progress with the chisel. I try to drill out the uh, spot welds and uh, I'm just trying to do it as easy as possible so I don't bend this piece because it's not real sturdy. So I'm uh, slowly going, but as you can tell, I got it to about here. So I think right in there. So we'll just continue on, but uh, you know, one go in the right direction. That's all I can say. Well, to go with the theme of the more I dig, the more I find. Now I got a hole right through here. So this is the drip edge where the quarter panel goes over here. This is where I'm working. So I sat down to try and get a different angle at it. And guess what? I found a hole right there. So yeah, it's great. One step forward, one step back. So anyways, just thought I'd rant a little bit about that. All right, so I just struggled and fought, but I got this inner piece off. So before I clean all this up, I gotta just take a minute and uh, hang this quarter just to see what it looks like. I have to move some of these uh, nice uh, clamps around to have more room, but I wanna see how uh, close it is and what all I need to take off of here to make it even closer. So anyways, here we go. All right, there it is. I mean, as you can see, it goes up along here where this lead joint is. So I'm gonna have to take that out. And then it goes straight under here and along here. So I'm gonna have to take those out as well. And then I'll have brand new, uh, I got a brand new one of these too. So I'm just gonna have a lot but uh, as you can see, this is supposed to go up behind here, I think. But uh, we'll see what we can do. But I'm going to put you on the stand and then I'm going to just uh, lift this puppy up and see how it looks. Just for uh, giggles. no wind comes through I'm gonna snap a picture and then we'll go from there but that's uh that's looking good all right I'm gonna use uh, my torch with a little rose bloom uh, head on it um, I got my fire extinguisher over there ready to go in case something happens but I'm just gonna heat it up enough to melt the lead out of that joint and maybe the braids that are in the corners. So, um, here we go. now I'm just going to drill all those uh, spot welds out to get this piece out. Um, there's all the lead. Came out relatively easy. So like I said, I'm just going to drill all these holes out and then uh, we'll see what we can get going on. 
this is pretty crazy as I'm hitting it. I don't know if you can see that, but rust is falling out of the holes that I drilled. So God only knows how much rust is up in there. So um, I guess I'll just keep drilling until I can get something under that seam right there. But uh, yeah, it's like every time I do something, I find out. And when I put this drill on there, I didn't even turn it and it just went through the sheet metal. So I'm thinking that this sail panel might have more issues than just this corner. So uh, let me uh, continue on. Well, I made some progress today, which is a good thing. Um, got the rest of the quarter off here. I'm working on getting all the quarter off here. I'm going to have to drill out these, these welds right here. But then I should be able to uh, take the rest of that off. And then I'll be, should be relatively ready, close to being ready to... Uh, fitting up the uh, new quarter panel so um as always appreciate all the support um please like please share please subscribe and i'll keep plugging away at this thank you very much and have a great day